This is All Things 80s with Garrett, and I'm Garrett. We're back on location in Wilmington, North Carolina for the 35th anniversary of Maximum Overdrive, Stephen King's short story called Trucks. Uh, this movie came out July 25th, 1986, and right, this opens up, it even says in the beginning of the movie, it says Wilmington, North Carolina, uh, and then we go right behind me uh, was First National Bank of Wilmington, and Stephen King actually makes a cameo. He walks up to the ATM machine. The building's got now gone, but you do see the corner here of the, like the rail that is what's left onto the side. But he comes over and he goes to the it goes to the to the ATM machine and it's calling him a butthole. I won't say it, but it's funny. He, he has a cameo uh, and he goes he goes, "Honey, come here, um, sugar buns. <laughs> this, <laughs> this this machine's calling me a butthole." And he does this really exaggerated uh, southern accent, but this is the location. This is where it starts out at. And this is like the third, the fourth Stevie King movie, but the only Stevie King movie that he directed. Uh, stars Emilio Estevez is in it. It's got it's got some more Pat Hingle. It's got a pretty good cast in it. Uh, but it's it's kind of it's a cult classic now. It's a little corny, but it is a but it's a but if you love a horror movie, you love Stevie King. This is a great movie to come watch, and this is on, on location. We're going to go look at some other locations from Maximum Overdrive, but this is where it kind of begins here in Wilmington, right here at the old First National Bank. And so we're going to take a look. So, come on. Honey, come on over here, sugar buns. This machine just call me an asshole. We're on site of the Dixie Boy 
and Maximum Overdrive, 1986. Uh, this is the location for the Dixie Boy right in front of the building in front of me. Uh, that would have been, the back side of that would have been the showers. On uh, the movie, we see um, Amelia Estevez's character and uh, Curtis go out across from the back of the Dixie Boy. So in front of that building, you'd have the Dixie Boy would have been standing. Uh, we would have had some palm trees where the, the line of the fence is. We would have the Gas World sign. There would have been uh, out here in this middle of this uh, the grassy area. There would have been uh, the sort of pumps were. It said Gas World on it. And then we look over to the right here. Uh, this is where the swamp area would have been, where the Bible salesman ends up. Uh, and the main building's not there anymore. But the buildings, all the buildings that are behind and around to the side are still here. So the building to my left here, it was set on top, it said the garage truck repair. Let me see, I'm sorry. It said, it said the, garage, the garage truck repair. And then on the overnight parking would have been the buildings uh, to behind it to the right. And then the behind the shower building. Behind the shower building would have been, uh, I think it said the storage, uh, container storage building through there. And then you see this also, you see this in the movie. Um, I think you see the Estes truck company sign. It's a different, obviously a different sign than what's there now, but you can see that it's still a trucking company. Let me, and it's, there's a ton of trucks out there, but just kind of give you the whole maximum overdrive feel when you see trucks around you. Oh yeah. So Dixie Boy would have been right here. The trucks would have been on this path. And now they probably would have continued on that way, but I'm gonna kind of drive around this way. And this is where the overnight parking would have been. And I'm gonna turn around. Having an 18 wheeler right there beside you. Right. Right. It would have been about right there where Dixie Boy would have been standing in this, this section. Okay, so this first part of this building, I don't think this is. This is not original, but the second part is, it is the showers, it is the showers. Let's go right here. So this, this part of the building was what was the shower building in the movie. Uh, and there's a ton of trees, like pine trees, right in this area that were kind of surrounding it. Come on, sodas. I'm buying. Hey, you guys gonna help me? Hey, you gonna help me pick this stuff up or what?
are all the same. Machines, apparently, operating by themselves or under the direction of some agency we don't understand, are going on a homicidal rampage. Whatever is happening, If you 